In this video, we're going to learn how to create a custom profile in Revit to use on a wall to mimic a panelized uh, log cabin look. So it's going to be two by six construction, and then we're going to attach a profile that has this log cabin type look, although it won't actually be actual logs that we're going to be using. In Revit here, what I'm going to do is create a profile that I was speaking about before that would attach to the side of the structure to give it the correct look for a log cabin type feel. Over here I'm going to go and say we're going to create a new uh, family. This new family that we're going to be creating is the profile type family. So I'm going to go down to the profile template, scroll down profile, say open. It's going to open up a set of crosshairs. These crosshairs are important. Over in the top right, this is uh, basically a Cartesian coordinate system. So top right is positive x, positive y. That's going to represent the outside face and the top edge of the uh, profile. If I were to draw below that, it's going to go below where I would specify uh, based on the origin. If I drew over here on the left, it's going to be kind of backwards. So the back of the object is going to be this uh, y axis and then the uh, bottom of the piece should be this x axis. So as I go into create, I'm going to click on line. I'm going to draw a few lines that will help me create this wall. I'm going to go and create it so that way it's going to come a uh, let's say half an inch out from the origin and then I'm going to go back to create and line and I'm going to go up 10 feet Enter, scroll out, and then I'm going to come over another half inch from the top. And I'm going to go back to create, and I'm going to offset two inches. I'm going to use this as a reference line. I'll play it out later, coming off two inches. And then I'm going to come in here, and when I create another line, that's going to be a three-point arc. I'm going to click on the end point of that half-inch line I drew. I'm going to come straight up 12 inches. I'm going to come over and bump this reference line that I had made. And I'm going to delete out the reference line. And I'm going to click on this arc that I made. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and we're snapping endpoint to endpoint. Very important as we create a profile sketch that we don't have any gaps or any overlaps. All lines must terminate at another line's endpoint. And the last one going up. And look here, I actually don't have that half inch line there, so I'm going to have to redraw that. Okay, and that closes off the profile. No gaps, no overlaps, no extending lines that are going past. I'm going to then save this. Pay attention to where you save it. We're going to have to load it in later. Um, or you might have to, you might not, depending on uh, if you can do this next step. So I'm going to click on uh, basically... Dalton sighting. I'm going to name it 2 because I did this once before and say save. Then you can click load in the project. It's important to know where that profile is though in case you need to know or in case you need to use it in another project. Then you don't have to go back into that file and click load into project again. I'm going to go click on this wall that I want to start to edit. And I'm going to click on edit type. If I don't want to override this wall, I would say duplicate and I would rename it. I would say OK. And I would edit this duplicate by clicking on uh, the structure edit button. And I'm going to delete out my exterior siding here, my clapboard that I had. I'm going to click on the preview button. And then I'm going to change my view to section. In this section, this represents the exterior, this represents the interior. I'm going to add a sweep to it. My profile's already been loaded, but if you didn't load it, you can just click Load Profile, find where you saved the profile, click on that and say Open. Then all you have to do is click on Add, click on the area where it says Profile, 
click on the profile you would just load it under material we could change that to a particular category of material so for example let's say I want to make this a uh, uh, certain type of siding we want like a cedar uh, which I don't think it has loaded in here currently so let's just make it a pine for right now although that would be a uh, kind of a bad uh, material for us to use for siding so why don't we load in pine but then this material here we can edit the type of it uh, to have cedar like properties and I'll show you how to do that if we click on that we can then click on the material uh, icon right here that is the sphere with the plus sign and we can actually add in the properties of cedar to that we'll do that in another video that's going a little bit slow right now I don't want Revit to crash on us so right now distance uh, from the base we're gonna say is zero so it's starting at zero we're gonna say it's on the exterior side of things if I wanted to change that though I could we can offset that out from the exterior side as well we could flip it um, to change the direction of it if we didn't like how it came in I like to say it cuts the wall and it's cuttable as well so that way it can be edited and then we say apply and we'll see that this thing uh, is going up on this section view the section view shows a 20 foot wall so if it's halfway up then that makes sense we say okay and then we say okay and then now as we uh, say okay one last time we should see that uh, I'm going to delete those extra elements that are it's basically saying like hey we can't do this with everything but I can see that uh, we've now made this kind of log cabin type look and I'm going to then click on uh, the rest of the walls here and I'm going to right click and say select all instances an entire project so all of those walls are selected and I'm going to change that to my uh, Lake Delton uh, wall type that I had just made and when I click off of that we should see that all these walls here and it's basically just saying hey some things have uh, are in the way the profile and basically I'm acknowledging that I wanted to cut it and now we have a much more uh, realistic looking log cabin style home. Don't forget to save and subscribe.